Um, I'm glad to have saved my worst guest for last. Um, we're actually completing the trilogy of hate. We've had me, Shrupp, and now Tony Alivato. I don't think you're aware of Tony. He works with us at Naira. He used to work at TVG. He's the man who's responsible for TVG. Yes, you can blame me. I can for blame all of you. It. All of the things you hate on TVG are responsible. Yes, and we've got plenty of hate mail throughout. Let, my let life. me ask you a question. When you came to Naira, everybody I know told me how awful you were. I assume everybody you know told you how awful I was. So I have to say, I, was, I had heard so many bad things about Andy before I got to Naira. And it was one of the reasons why I took the job. I wanted to be this, you know, solidify my position as the second most hated person <laughs> in all of American racing. And I have to say that when I got here, I was pleasantly surprised that it was worse than what people had said. <laughs> I've, I've done my best. <laughs> I've tried hard. No, I, I have to say um, that I've never worked with anybody who works as hard as Andy does in terms of preparation. Andy never shortchanges the viewer. And people who are watching a show, listening to Andy, they know that he is putting his heart and soul into his work, and it comes across on the air. And I have a, a ton of respect. I don't always see eye to eye with him. We disagree quite often, as a matter of fact. Which is quite often. We, yeah, we do. Quite um, often. So what did you bring from TVG to us? Because you start, basically you started Saratoga, Saratoga and Belmont Park Live. Well, I think that, you know... I always with, with help from Dave, who's here, Dave O'Rourke, Dave O'Rourke. Yeah, I take, Dan Silver, who's here. I mean, one thing I've always tried to take pride in the fact is Chris I, feel like, I feel like throughout our lives, we're always learning. Like life is a le giant learning experience, and I always try to, to learn from all my experiences. And when we started TVG, we had one thing in mind, that we were trying to reach out to the, the, the novice fan, the person who never goes to the races, and that's why we hired people like Chris Harrison and non-racing people, and it didn't really work, and we kind of had to adjust our game. And when I left TVG, I went to go work for NFL Network, you know, the NFL, one of the biggest brands in, in the world. And I learned a lot when I was there. When I came to Naira, um, it was a big difference between Naira and TVG. TVG, we were starting from scratch. And here at the New York Racing Association, we had such a great foundation with you and, and, and uh, Maggie and the team that were already in place here. So I, I, it was a completely different experience, but I tried to bring some of those things from TVG. And, and for us, it's every show that we do on Saratoga Live, which can be seen on Fox Sports 2, MSG Plus, is about educating, entertaining, and informing fans. And we want people who, wherever they are in their journey of horse racing, whether they've been going their whole lives or they're just learning, to feel like they can take something away from our broadcast. And I think that that's what you guys do a terrific job of as announcers on the show. Maggie's stuff in the paddock is unbelievable. As a person who's been handicapping my whole life, I feel like I can always learn from her. And more important, and just as importantly, the people behind the scenes who put their heart and soul into the shows that get very little recognition for the people watching on TV, they do a great job. No, they do. The people behind the scenes in every TV production, the people never get any credit, and they deserve most of the credit. It, it's amazing what they do. Um, and you're also working with us at Naira Betts. The one of the big things we did this summer at Saratoga is the Naira Betts Late Pick Five, which unless you're at the track or in New York State, you can only play through Naira Betts. If you, is that sort of... Um, experiment, have you think it's been successful? Is it something we're going to continue or make some changes? So, you know, the pick five is, is arguably the, the fastest growing, most popular bet in horse racing. And, you know, Naira Bet started, we've been in New York for a long time under the name Naira Rewards. Last year we rebranded Naira Bets, but we ventured outside of New York so that people outside of New York could bet through our platform. And because we were a late entrance in the marketplace, we wanted to offer something that people couldn't get anywhere else. And Chris Kay, who's sitting here, CEO of, of Naira, said, let's come up with a bet that's really going to get people uh, interested. And we settled on the pick five, and we knew there'd be a little bit of controversy around it. But to be honest with you, the, the, the reaction has been overwhelming. And our fans and our customers love the bet, and it's overpaid on a regular basis. It is, in my opinion, the best bet in all of horse racing. If you go to the racetrack and you make one bet, at Saratoga, you should be playing the late pick five. You're battling other horse players in that bet. I think it's a great bet, too, and it's paid out well, and it's been fun. Um, I wish we had more time to talk. Have you had fun in Saratoga this summer? Uh, not as much fun as I've had on this show. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, Tony Alivato.
<laughs> Stay with us. We come right back. At the Post Live is brought to you by Capital OTB. Go mobile at M. Um, we only have a few moments left. I, I want to thank everybody that comes down and supports the show. It, it's, a, it's a labor of love for everybody. And, you know, when I started this with my, my good friend John Angelos six years ago, we thought, let's try to do something where we can merge what goes on at the racetrack and what goes on downtown every night. And, and I feel like it's been successful. And it's been successful because of participation by the people who came tonight, Jeremiah Englehart, who's still here, and the riders that come down. I Honestly, there's nobody in the racing community that I ask during the course of the year that doesn't take time out of their schedules. And understand, these are people that get up at 4 in the morning and they find time to come down. It's because of the fans. It's because of the people that are here tonight and the people that come and join us at the racetrack. And there's no place like Saratoga and nowhere are there fans like the ones we have here and it's such a pleasure and it's very fortunate that I've been able to find a job and support myself but doing something that I love and doing it for people that come to Saratoga and join us here every week at At The Post Live and of course join us at the racetrack and, and get involved in racing all year and, 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 and it means a lot to me that people come down and I see a lot of the same faces and people coming and I appreciate it and I appreciate all the support we've gotten from our guests throughout the year and also our sponsors. I mean I should thank our sponsors Naira Betts. I mean they do put it on here. We couldn't do it without them. We couldn't do it without Capital OTB, the Breeders' Cup, the Daily Racing Forum, the people that help pay the freight to make this show work. And I appreciate it. And I appreciate everything that everybody brings here this year and every year. And we'll be back next year here at the Parting Glass, God willing. So I hope to see you all next year. I hope to see you at the track this weekend. Thanks so much for your support. And everybody, let's have a great year. It's been a fun season. It's got four more days to go. We'll see you at the track.